Hello Vital Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a specialist in the United States Army. It feels like it's been so long since I've talked to you guys and it's for good reason, I'm sorry. I've just been working on a lot of things and trying to put certain things in place for myself. I feel like 2019 is the year that I really want to make a dent in getting my business and things off the ground. So I just really been working hard on that on top of my education and things like that and as you know i am trying to submit an ipad packet and that is actually proving more difficult to put together than i had expected so yeah <laughs> kind of like a, I, I got a lot going on but i promise i promise i'm not going anywhere of course as you can see i still get your messages and things on instagram and i definitely get your snapchats and stuff like that so I still answer your questions. I'm so sorry if I have not been uploading consistently like I would like to, but like I said, it's for good reason. Today, I wanna talk a little bit about the FAST class and retaking your ASVAB because I have been getting a ton of questions about this topic. But before I start, can you please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more military-related videos? Also, turn that notification bell on so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos. I'm so sorry if throughout this video you hear a small little voice that is Mia in the background. Um, it's past her bedtime. She's supposed to be sleeping, but <laughs> oh goodness. Now, as I stated before, I have been getting tons of questions about the FAST class, retaking your ASVAB, and getting a higher GT score. Because as you may know, in the Army, you're going to constantly hear if you have at least a 110 GT or higher, you can do pretty much anything you want to do in the Army in terms of schools, packets, assignments, and jobs if you're looking to reclass. You know, all the good stuff. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the FAST class and what you can expect if you decide to take it. So the first thing you want to do is actually register for the ASVAB. Do not wait until the last minute. I'm not sure how it is everywhere else, but I know here that wait can be pretty long. When I registered, I believe I registered around January of 2017 and I did not get a slot until July of 2017. So as soon as you kind of know that you're needing to raise your GT score, your ST score, your CL score, whatever score it is that you think that you need to improve, don't wait until the last minute to register. So when you apply or register for FAST class, you're going to go to the Education Center and you're going to let them know that you want to take the FAST class. They should put you in the next available slot and they should also give you a form you need to fill out and have signed by your commander because you do have to get approval from your commander to take the FAST class. You're going to be taking the FAST class during duty hours and FAST class lasts a month long. I'm not sure about how it is now, but I know when I took it, it was a month long. So when you get that paperwork authorized you to take the fast class you're going to want to keep a copy for your records because commanders are busy you know they have a lot going on so for whatever reason if somebody were to say hey where have you been you know you haven't been here you can easily just show them your paper and remind them hey hey sergeant or hey sir I have permission to take the fast class this month it's just that simple it happened to me it happens just make sure you're covering your skin and just keep good records. You're also going to want to keep that paper until 60 days after you retake the test and I'm going to tell you why a little bit later. So now you have registered for the FAST class, you got approved and now you're starting the class. Now when you are in the FAST class and you're taking it, it's going to kind of feel like you're in school because you, you kind of are, you know, you are going to get study material, you are going to have homework, you are going to have an instructor in front of you teaching, and depending on how this instructor runs the class, you may or may not be given small little tests as well throughout the throughout the month of the class. So the first day or two, you're going to take a diagnostic test, and that's going to show your instructor what it is you need to work on depending on what score you're trying to raise because there are different line scores and not everybody needs to raise their GT score. Now I hope you take the diagnostic serious because you're really going to need those results to see what you need to work on and what you need to focus on and what sections you need to really give your best on because this is where you're going to improve those scores that you are trying to improve. When I mention section, I am referring to the topic of study or the information being tested on and there are nine of them. I do have them listed here. I do not know them off the top of my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and list them off. You have your general science, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, 
paragraph comprehension, mathematic knowledge, electronics information, auto and shop information, mechanical comprehension, and assembling objects. So when I'm being asked about the ASVAB, I'm getting pretty much two different questions. One being they are trying to raise their ASVAB score to come into the military and the other being they're trying to raise their GT score or whatever line score they're trying to raise to do something else because they've already gotten into the army. They, you know, just need higher scores. So I'm going to go ahead and touch on both of those just a little bit real quickly. So when it comes to the AFQT, that is the score that's more important when you are coming into the military because that score is going to determine whether you qualify to join or not. And I do have the sections that you want to concentrate on and focus and study on most if you're wanting to manipulate that score. So you want to focus on paragraph comprehension, word knowledge, mathematic knowledge, and arithmetic reasoning. So those are the sections that makes up that AFQT score. So when it comes to determining what jobs and things you actually qualify for, you're going to pay attention to your other line scores. And I do have a list of those as well. And your other line scores is going to be your clerical, your combat, electronics, field artillery, general maintenance, general technical, mechanical maintenance, operators and food, surveillance and communications, and your skilled technical. So those are all the rest of your other line scores. And when it comes to the one that everyone asks about, it's your GT score. So your GT score is composed of word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and arithmetic reasoning. So if you're wanting to manipulate that GT score, you're gonna to wanna to focus on those sections. With this information and knowing what sections affect what score, you kinda of know, again, what sections you want to hone in on so you can actually manipulate that score that you are trying to, um, that you're trying to, you know, raise. Now, after the FAST class is over, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Education Center and you're gonna to register to retake the ASVAB. Now, you do not have to do that right away because that paper that you had signed, that's good for 60 days after the class. So let's say you're still not comfortable, you wanna study for a few weeks on your own or like maybe a month on your own, you definitely can do that. Just make sure you're taking that test within those 60 days. A few things for you to understand is when you retake this test and you get those new scores, those are your new official scores. So if you don't score as high as you would have liked, those are not your new scores. And if for whatever crazy reason you score lower, those are your new scores. Those are your new scores. That's... That's one of the things some people didn't pay attention to or I guess didn't listen to when I went through because they're kind of upset about having like a lower score. But just be aware that if you score lower, that's your score now. But the good news is you can retake the ASVAB as many times as you want. Now, on a regular, I guess, regular circumstances allows you to take the ASVAB test once every six months so there has to be six months between the time you take your ASVAB but from my understanding that can be waived because it was waived for me I'm not sure how it is now again but for me it was waived once you take the test and you don't get the score you need if you can justify why you need to take it again sooner than six months you can take it again 30 days after that first test I know I didn't go into any study tricks and study hacks and things like that because I just figured there are thousands of videos online to show you and teach you how to study but I assume you've already seen those videos if you're here trying to figure out how to raise that GT score and how to raise that ASVAB score and you already got a pretty good study pattern down. I just wanted this video to be a sort of guideline on what it is that you need to focus on. So instead of trying to study everything in hopes that something's on a test or you're studying the right material, I wanted to make kind of a more focused way of studying, if you will. So you know exactly what you need to focus on to achieve the goals that you're wanting to achieve. So I hope this video helped because that was 
that was my goal here is to help you understand what you need to be studying all right guys that's it that's all i have for this video i hope it wasn't too long i actually think i made pretty good timing if you don't mind like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so youtube alert to you when i post new videos comment any questions you have down below of course i will definitely get back to you as soon as i possibly can and share this video with your friends and anyone else that you know are interested in coming into the military because i try to be helpful you know i try to help i'm just here to help so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys later i got an assignment to turn in it's kind of late tomorrow's monday so yeah let me get out of here bye for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable for the record you ain't trying to grow them stuff